Hey everybody, Brian with you from the Game Covenant. Today we are starting a brand new Civilization VI Deity playthrough as Congo. So our goal before Gathering Storm comes out, which is the new expansion in February, is to get through all of the civs. So uh, at the end of our last series as Khmer, the last episode, I basically plugged in all of the 10 or so civs that we still yet to play as in a random generator online, and I randomized it and we got Congo. So we're going to be playing as Congo today which is exciting because he is quite different than everyone else so I'm excited to actually try him so we're gonna keep playing on small maps reason for that is because I just want the series to be a little shorter just to make sure I have enough time to get through everyone so hopefully you guys like quick fire series uh, we were debating on what kind of map type so we um, I want to play either island plates or archipelago uh, I think that's how you say it uh, anyways I want to play as one of those two because we have yet to play as either of them and quite a while I think let's go ahead and do island plates this might be a bad idea because I don't know I don't know we'll see we'll see how it works out for us honestly island plates would be a really good peaceful playthrough I would think I don't know it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be interesting when we're playing as Norway we probably want to play island plates so hopefully we don't get or uh, Norway next because then we might have to play it twice uh, we're gonna be on deity at some point I do want to play on like a late game start but I'll probably wait till we get through all the civs first. I think it'd be interesting just to like start the game in the industrial area uh, era because you start with extra settlers, but then again, so does the AI who already starts with extra settlers. So I don't know, it'd be interesting. It'd be interesting to see how that game would play out. I don't know if it'd be easier or harder. We'll leave everything on standard. Yeah, we'll leave everything on standard. And I forgot to shut off Sean Bean. Let's go shut off Sean Bean and we'll remake it. Audio. Just so I can keep talking. Shut up. Uh, okay, create game. Advanced setup. We're going to play Congo. Get right there. We are going to leave everything as is, except we were going to switch you up to uh, island plates and then deity. And let's go ahead and start. Everything's fine? Sea states? Yeah. 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 So now if we get a bunch of civs that don't have a religion, like a Khmer one, or civs that don't focus on religion, it won't <laughs> matter because uh, we, we can't do a religious playthrough. So, uh, what is Congo? What's special about them? So number one, they may not build holy sites. Uh, they gain great profits. Uh, or, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. They may not build holy site districts. They can't gain great profits, and they can't found religions. They gain all beliefs of any religion, though, that established itself in a majority of his cities, and they receive an apostle each time they finish a theater square or a mombanza uh, of that city's marriage or religion. So, what's nice about that is so we don't get a religion, but if uh, there's any religion that established itself in a majority of my cities, then we will get all of their benefits. Now, normally, you only get, like, maybe one one or two like you won't necessarily get like tithe or the extra science or something like that so that's a little different now because we'll actually get all of that let's go ahead and hop in the game here and look at it this way because it's a little easier congo let's see we also get a unique ability the nikishi uh, plus two food plus two production plus four gold from each uh relic artifact or sculpture great work of art in addition to the usual culture that is ridiculous so we would love to get relics we're going to want to trade for relics or artifacts um the other thing is normally when i'm going to culture game i tend to try getting as many paintings as possible because i just like paintings a little better than artifacts but i think this time we're going to want to go artifacts across the board we also get 50 percent more great writer great art great musicians great merchant points that is amazing being able to get extra points oh it's gonna be so nice and then palace has slots for five great works which is also nice uh we already looked at you yeah yeah, yeah. we looked at you um special unit is a unit that replaces swordsman plus 10 combat strength when defending against ranged attacks can move and see through rains and forest that is amazing um, just basically being able to get out swordsmen for free and not needing iron is all is really really nice being able to protect against archers and then future crossbows is really cool too and then being able to move and see through rainforest and woods it just gives them a lot of extra speed so overall I, I it's not the top tier unit but it's definitely pretty good and then Mbanza uh, district unique to Congo that can be constructed in rainforest or woods replaces neighborhood but it's available earlier and cheaper gets plus five housing plus two food plus four gar uh, gold so nice, nice, nice. Wasn't there something else? Gains beliefs. Receives an apostle each time he finished. So every time I finish a neighborhood then uh, or a theater square, I get a apostle, which is cool. So we kind of want a religion before that happens. All right, I think we kind of get the plan. Um, man, man, I think I want to go on the coast. Yeah, I think right away we want to go on the coast. 
Although, man, settling on the bananas is so nice. Okay, so here's the thing. If I settle here on the wheat, uh, we're going to stay as a 2-1, which sucks. If I settle here, we'll get double bananas, which means our seed is going to grow um, pretty tremendously. The thing is, I love settling on the coast because it allows us to get galleys early on. We also know that we're on island plates, so because of that, uh, we're going to want... Um, C units and we're gonna need C units now normally how we were playing sorry my voice I just woke up my voice is breaking up uh, so normally uh, what we had been doing with Khmer it, we had been super super uh, uh, aggressive in rushing out religion so we rushed out astrology and you know um, basically we kind of didn't really go too much in the defensive that's not really gonna be the case for us I think we're gonna want to get as many units up as early as possible now the downside is is if we just are on a tiny little island to ourselves, we're not going to be able to get any early wars. Sorry, settler. We're all still part. It looks like the coast is here. Yeah, dang. That sucks. This is a small island, which is the whole point. I think we are going to cross the river. I, I will readily admit the settling probably on the Benaz is our best bet. Although it would stay a 3-1, I think. Plain hills over there too, so uh, but the housing's not as good. And this one's just like uh yeah, so this would stay two one. This is gonna stay two one. These both I think would still be three ones. Although actually everyone says no, they would just become two ones, wouldn't they? The bananas. I don't remember settling on bananas. You guys have to look at the comments. I'm sure someone told me. Uh I think if you settle on bananas, they go down to two one. Hold up, let's just Settling, because you don't get the bonus resource. Settling on bananas, bananas, sieve six. What happens if I settle on a banana tile? Mm, I think it would stay, I think it would go to a 2-1, right? I don't know, look at the comments. So we're going to go settle there then. And mostly because I want to be on the coast, just so we can get out our ships early on. I should know this by now. There's other, something to be said too about settling here, because this would become a 2-2, two -two, but eh. Alright, there you go. Now, the downside is we don't get to work the bananas right away, where if we would have settled right there, we could work the bananas right away. So, that's unfortunate. I also probably want mining early on. Kind of almost want irrigation. You know what? I think I'm just going to rush out irrigation. The thing is, it's highly unlikely that we're going to have anyone on... I'll build a scout. It's highly unlikely that we have anyone on our island. So I don't necessarily need to pop out a bunch of warriors and go heavy into archery. So if we were going to go early warfare, I'd go animal husbandry into archery, pop out a slinger right away. And then about the time we finish um, the slinger, we should be able to kill a barbarian unit, which would give us the boost on archery. And then we can get archers up really quickly and then go conquer um, either a city state or a sieve really, really quickly. One of their cities. Now that seems unlikely on these tiny little islands. So... We should get an island to ourselves, unless it turns out to be a pretty snaky place. So, this is a fine start. We got plenty... We got enough room to expand, so... As long as there's not, like, a sieve right here, I'm gonna feel pretty okay about the start. No barbarians this way. So, I'm just gonna bring you back, because we see the edge, and I do want to figure out um, the rest of this map. We also have seen this quite a bit. This was also in our Khmer game where we had this little island and these little snaky guys. Um, potential canal city? I don't know. Is this ocean though or is this a lake? It says lake. Okay. Thought it was a lake. Okay. We got two turns left in the scout. We're about to finish growing. I should probably buy the bananas as soon as we have the option. Although you're about to grow there, so we don't need to worry about it then. Okay. I will send the scout this way and I'm going to send my warrior down this way. We've not found the barbarians yet, which interesting. Kind of assumed we would have. So, a builder's not going to help me. I think we will go rush out the settler then. A builder's not going to help me right now because we don't have irrigation. We won't have irrigation for a little bit. Now, the bananas are improved by a uh, plantation, which gives you extra gold. So this would just give us a bunch of gold. This isn't going to give us any additional production, at least yet. Same thing over here with the wine. That won't give us any additional production. So my first build, honestly, should probably be a mine. But we'll want mining for that. And maybe there's something to be said about getting mining before irrigation. You know, I actually think I am. And you could even argue grabbing sailing right away for the amber. 
Because fishing boats, well, can give you production if you get the right Pantheon. We might actually grab that Pantheon because there's going to be more than enough um, fishing probably in this game. Uh, just with the map as it is. Okay, I'll keep going. Keep going. I think I'm good with the start. The start seems pretty okay. It's not a great one. Um, like, we don't have, like, any crazy powerful tiles, but I'm still cool with it. And here's the thing. I don't know, even if... Actually, this was freshwater, because it's a lake. We could have settled there. Uh, well, we can't see it now. But anyways, uh, I don't think I still would want to have settled there. Because we don't have a lot of production here. Getting one extra production in our city, our capital, is great for the whole game. Problem is, is these are the only potential two mines we have right away. I guess we could also get this as a mine eventually. So we're only going to look at maybe four mines in our city. That's kind of bad. So I definitely wouldn't want to waste one of them by putting a city up there. All things considered, I think we've probably settled in the right spot. And this gives us early access here. Now, we could have built a harbor on either side, but nah. Nah, I'd rather have the harbor over here because we'll put another city somewhere over here. Probably, like, we need a city over here. Probably, like, here. Although, actually here, because we can get a killer uh, harbor right here. Yeah, so I'm thinking city here. And then we want a harbor here. The harbor gets adjacency being next to... It'll get a plus two being next to the city center. I'll get a plus two being next to two sea resources. And then, let's see, one, two, three, four, anywhere down here, probably on one of the cattle. Probably here. Just be a nice little mini canal city. Uh, we wouldn't really get the harbor, although I guess the harbor here, probably the best bet. The other reason to put this city here was now the harbor is going to be a plus three. We might as well start filling some of this in. Harbor, plus three. Uh, one, two, three, we could put a city over here. I'm um, going to potentially see about like right here being a city yeah yeah we we'll want to get our science up too hey we found the encampment where'd your scout go dude how did your scout not find us he must have gone over here and there must be more room over here than i was thinking okay this is nice i'm f i'm cool with this so far uh you got two turns so we'll attack and then you'll heal up one turn and then we'll have the barbarian one where are we gonna go with the second city probably right up here do we want to go way over here let's see this one's going to have better production. This C is going to have no production. There's going to be a little bit of overlap too, but... I think right now we want to go over there. Uh, potential city down here. We would probably put it here so we can get the freshwater bonus and still keep it on the coast. I want to keep them on the coast if at all possible. And settler... Yeah. I could have just counted too, but... The downside is this is a little far away. If we went here, we would get double wheat. We would also get the mine that we could work right away. Hmm. But we wouldn't be right on the coast. And I like being right on the coast just for the harbor adjacency. I think we're hitting the end of the island. Okay, you're going to heal up. I'm going to put you here. Ooh, was not expecting that. Eek. Eek. What happened to... Where's his? Why have we not seen a scout yet? I'm a little weirded out that we've not seen a scout. We're gonna grab the faith just so we can grab a pantheon. We can grab a pantheon, right? We just can't grab a religion. It's gonna be really embarrassing if we can't grab a pantheon. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go straight for early empire just to rush out as many settlers as possible. Uh, I don't really care about production towards builders. Um, early trade route will be nice, and then we want this. Uh, this would also give us open borders to anyone we meet. Not that it really particularly matters. Um, because I doubt we're going to meet anyone because we probably have an island to ourselves. So he should probably attack out. Ow. Oh, he did not attack out. What? Also, you got hit by someone. So there's someone on this island. Frickin' frick. Frickin' frick. Dang it. Dang it. You should get a promotion probably with this attack. I just don't want him to... It's... Oh! Well, we were screwed. I guess we could have moved there. He would have moved and attacked me. Dang, that sucks. Oh, that's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. Why did he pawn... Man. How did he spawn out a freaking dude already? Well, that sets us behind for sure. So, City's definitely going to go down this direction. 
where there's no barbarians. Um, I don't really want to rush this out. We also don't see the scout other than this. So even if they see my city, what are they going to do to it? Nothing. So we only have to worry about uh, scouts coming, because if the scout comes and then runs back home, then that's when they spawn out a bunch of units that are going to go siege you down. So I think we're just going to keep going this way. Man, well, that sets us back a little bit. Sweet. Thank you for going right there. Uh, it's not end of the world. Could we have done that differently? I mean, had we known that there wouldn't have been a slinger there, we should have rested up to full HP if we would have known there was a slinger there. Only other thing we probably should have done is I should have retrieved my warrior back here. So the slinger would have gone there, shot me. I just didn't want to give the slinger a free shot. I didn't think that uh, the um, spearman was going to be able to do that much damage. I think he rolled really well. I probably should have calculated it. We know the math well enough. We probably could have calculated how much damage he would have done. Ah, Kabul is here. That's what's up. Yeah, once again, I don't really care. You go do your thing. So, Kabul is going to be a great uh, city to take over. It does get us extra two production when producing units. Uh, Suzerain, your units receive double experience from battles they initiate. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. But we're probably just going to take them over. Is that freshwater too? Eh, we can't look that way, can we? Is this a lake? It's a lake. So that's on freshwater too. Yeah, I like that. I'm not really worried about him coming in and conquering us. So let's go throw a city down here. Now, the problem is it's not freshwater, but it does have a lot better production. I think that's fine. You give me a warrior. I might end up buying a slinger here because we could probably get some kills pretty easily with that slinger. We got a nice little island here. All right. This is way better than I was expecting. Do we care about irrigation right now? I don't really care about fishing boats either. I think I'm actually going to grab that before irrigation. I honestly also want to straight rush out Celestial Navigation, just so we can get harbors early on. So, hopefully no Barbarian Encampment spawns <laughs> on top of me. That would be, you know, nice if you keep that from happening, game. I should have gone and explored there. Oh, well. Uh, so, 138, we need 140. Cool. Foreign trade, we found another continent. Nice. Nice. All right, I'm glad I did that, so we didn't waste any turns. And you're going to get the city next turn. And you're going to go buy a slinger. And hopefully we can get the kill here for a nice little rush on archery. What happened there? That was a weird one. Okay, cool. So, um, I think we'll go grab the granary right away. The builder we can't use once again because we don't have animal husbandry. Do we want to grab? No, 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 because that was in craftsmanship. Never mind. Never mind. Now, your production is going to be really, really bad, too. We'll eventually want to get the stone up, which we do have mining, so a builder here would be nice. Maybe I should grab that instead of the granary. Yeah. We have no production here right now. Because <laughs> it's all food. That's why it's so slow. But we're going to... Man, this is going to be like a size 3 city in no time flat. Okay, cool. Get the kill. Thank you. Come back and explore over here. Now, we would like to get some archers going here pretty quickly. So we can come take on Kabul. Hopefully you come and attack me. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's like... I think it's one archer and two warriors is enough to take on a city-state. Usually, though, that's like rushing it out um, right away in the beginning. And so we're a little behind on that. So we might just end up popping out a second warrior. Because here's the thing. If we take over this city, that's the same as throwing out another um, uh, settler. So I think we might as well just go pop that out. Our city's getting really big. I like it. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Thank you for the boost. I appreciate it. Uh, we can't move there, because you're boxing me. You're gonna come down here. Hmm... Okay. Okay. This city's gonna have pretty okay production, at least. And then we'll bring you over this way. Okay. There might be another guy down here, so we gotta be a little careful with this dude. Wondering about doing this now. Hmm.
Let's get to archers. And so then about the time we finish killing this guy, we can upgrade you. Yeah, I think let's do that. Because once again, we're not going to get any builders. We're going to pretty aggressive early on. You go here. I don't want you to get too close. Because I just don't want someone to come spawn out and kill us. Uh, we don't care about gold. I would like production in all cities, but that doesn't help me. Gain the extra production towards units would also be nice. That would give us 16 production. Yeah, that would give us 16 production right now. Which means we could pop it out in three turns. We have 13 production already. Uh, so plus 16 would be 29. Plus 16 would be uh, 30. 29, 35, right? So it'd still be three turns. So we'd only save one turn. Am I doing that right? 13 plus 16 is 29. 45. No, it would be two turns. Hmm. That's an interesting one. Don't have her math on camera, by the way. Is it worth saving two turns? Now the Barbarians are going to be a lot stronger against us. How long until we get the next one is the question. 18 turns, 32 turns. Yeah, I think we got to save it. I think we need the extra five against the Barbarians. Now we could have taken you this way and that would have been a little quicker. Now if I went there, there's a chance that uh, he would come and hit us. Specifically his uh, Spearman. So I need to stay where you're at. We'll go do that then. And you're going to be dead. Okay. We're a good spot then. And then we need to go take care of this guy. Okay. I'm cool with this. You still have no production. Um, when are you growing? 13 turns. You're going to grow there instead of there. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. How long until we get our Pantheon? Ah, freaking man. We need their Pantheon. Also, piss off game. Seriously. kill you off and he's dead next turn no matter what yeah this worked out fine and then we'll start sending you over in this direction so then next we either want another settler or a trader usually with early trade routes i just want to buy them with gold we'll be able to get another 30 gold taking that encampment out um i think let's get third city down yeah and i think we probably want the third city right around here it looks like Although, then again, if we're going to go take on Kabul, maybe I should go grab a slinger. I'm going to grab a second slinger just so we have another archer, quote-unquote. Okay. Oh, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. Now, can you get the kill? Yes. And then do this. And you will suicide into me, which is cool. Okay, take you around here. This is a really good start. I like it. I like it. I like it. Hey, we got finally a goodie hut. Our first goodie hut of the game. <laughs> Our entire island had one goodie hut. Uh, definitely going to put a city down over here. Okay, so you got your promotion. Get a uh, volley and then battle cry. Probably the best two pro uh, promotions in the game. Hmm, interesting. So you got these double rivers over here. I'm probably going to settle on the sugar because this would be a 4-1 or a 5-1. A lot of food. And then we'd also have the banana right away. Yeah, actually, I think I want to put C here as quick as possible. Now, one, two, three, four would be able to put one on the sugar as well. Yeah, I like that. You guys just sit here for a second and gain HP. You can come up because you're back at full. You're getting around here to go take this guy on. And you're going to finish the second slinger. And then I think we'll start marching in towards Kabul. Yes! <laughs> that is awesome! Number one, that is like the coolest freaking uh, 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 a relic. I have never seen the Holy Lance before. That is awesome looking. But that is amazing for us. Because we get two food, two production, four gold from it. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Oh my gosh, we couldn't have gotten luckier. That is so lucky. I don't, like, the, what is the odds? It's like a, 
one in like 20 or something, usually you just get boost. Most of the time you get boost. Sometimes you'll get a scout. Sometimes you get experience. Rarely do you get relics. That is awesome. And that's just perfect for us. Okay, this start went like 10 to 10 now. <laughs> just because of that. Uh, Island's explored, so I'm just going to have you heal up. And... I'm going to move you over here. We might end up getting you over here to help out with Kabul. If nothing else, just to be a distraction. I would love to get my nice little units up. Uh, do my units come with swordsmen? They do. Because we'd be able to move through this island so much quicker. All right, Pantheon. Give me fishing boats. Now, other thing to argue would be... Uh, to find Spark would also be good. We'd get so many great, um, great riders. But, nah. Uh, what's the chopping one? Yeah, Goddess of the Harvest. You get faith equal to yield quantity. The only downside with that is we would have to have a religion spread in our territory that allows us to buy units with religion. In which case, that would be an amazing one to have. That said, we're going to grab fishing boats every day of the week on island plates. Like, look how many, look how many fishing boats there are. Plus one production. I mean, so just look at it this way. Our, 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 our eventually... Our empire is going to get additional 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. At least an extra 12, 13 production that we wouldn't have. That's nice. That's nice. That's a nice passive little one. Uh, Fishing boats. Found this pantheon. So we probably want to get a builder here then quick. Probably after the settler. I think we have more than enough now to take on Kabul. You just keep going that way. You might not need any help. Although, it's been a little bit, so I'm a little worried that he's going to spawn something else out right about the time we get over here, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, oh, wait. Hold up. Get back. Get back. Let's just go get archery. Yeah, upgrade you guys. I was actually moving them over here was my original thought, and then I was like, nah, let's just go to Kabul. I forgot we need to upgrade them to archers. So, do we have enough gold? We do. We want to probably purchase out. Seriously. Freaking serious. <laughs> uh, barbarians. I hate you so much. So you're going to go get shot, and then you're going to have to run over there. Oh my god, so annoying. So freaking annoying. At least our archers are going to be able to, you know, outrange him. Not that we're going to do any damage, but we can outrange him at least. Now, he shouldn't be able to get around here and still shoot, because I think they'll have a movement of three, if I remember correctly. So we kind of had to bait him around this way, which is annoying, to say the least, but sure. Okay, first archer up, second archer incoming. Uh, we're going to hopefully distract this guy and then do some shooting. Man, that's going to put us so far behind going and getting this city. Ah, suck. So, at this point, let's go grab sailing. We might just want to rush out our unit. How long have we been going on this episode? 20 minutes, okay. One, two, three. How do we not have vision over here? I'm tempted to buy this tile just so I can have vision so I can shoot him. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Seems like a dumb thing to do, though. We know you went the other way, so I'm just going to leave you there and heal you one turn. Because we know that he's not coming this way. Because we saw him go that way. Where was that? I swear to God. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Over here. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> it's not on top of me. That's all I ask. Okay, we're going to swap you out. The goal is to hopefully distract him. Get him coming over here. Uh, you're coming around this way. You're going to heal. We got our sailing knocked out. Nav navigation would be amazing to get out here pretty quickly. Um, or would we rather go for iron working and get our better unit? We need an iron mine for that to happen, but we need iron for that to happen too. I think let's do it. Let's grab iron. Iron is also a good thing to see um, before you throw down a bunch of cities because you can kind of determine where to put certain cities. All right, you should come at me now. Hopefully. Hopefully you're going to come out our archers. 
Uh, next city? I think we just want to go down here. I think we talked about putting it right here. No, we definitely want to go over here. Yeah, on the sugar, for sure. So come at my archers, please. Thank you. Now, we don't do a lot of damage to boats, but there's two of us, so. <laughs> really? Dang it. Really? Really? Something to do a little more damage than that, but that's fine. Early Empire's knocked out, so we're gonna go grab craftsmanship. Uh, can we get you boosted? We need a builder. Did we ever grab irrigation? We never grabbed irrigation, did we? How long for a builder? Five turns, 200 gold? God, that's expensive, man. Five turns, would we be able to finish? Would we be able to finish in time? Because it'd be five, six turns. And we'd have six turns. So one, two, three, four, five. Not really. It's going to take us too many turns. I'm so mad you went over there. Also work this one. My gosh. <laughs> give, give me the production, man. We might end up just buying a builder. But we don't have enough gold. That's the problem. Hmm... I think we have to knock out irrigation, don't we? Man. 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 We'll keep you going. We don't need our Pantheon anymore, so we can switch off you. So give me the production per turn. So we basically just doubled our production. Well, we went from zero production now to two. Almost three. Uh, sorry, we had one production. Now we're at three. So that works. You're going to hurt me. Oh, you switched targets. Well, thank you for that. Should be able to kill you next turn. We also have upgraded warriors here, which is nice. You keep healing up. Ooh, deer over here. Nice. Nice. And you're going to come colonize on the sugar. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Let's do one more turn and we'll wrap this episode up. So we're off to a great start. Uh, I'm going to kill you here. And then we can go ahead and promote you right away. Now you're going to need a little bit of HP. You need a little bit of HP. You also need a little bit of HP before we move on Kabul. Uh, Kabul is in a bit of a sketchy spot. It's going to be hard to get to. Um, we have two warriors, so we'll put a warrior there, we'll put a warrior there, and then we'll put our two archers here. I think will be the way that we'll have to do that. Um, let's try to like walk around and see what we can find. He doesn't have walls up yet, which is great. City's going to go down. I know I said one more turn, and we did one more. He has two warriors. Eh. So... We'll have to kill those warriors first, most likely. Okay. I'm going to leave the archer hurt. It shouldn't be a problem. Because uh, he won't be engaged in melee combat. Now, he does slightly less damage attacking. We're losing three, but we're still going to do a lot of work. So, I'm not too concerned about that. Okay. Well, we're going to wrap this episode up here. So, things started off well for us. Um, we got an island to ourselves. We got plenty of potential locations. Downside is we're not going to be able to uh, use our early warrior. Well, our early swordsman, quote-unquote, unique unit, which would have been great for a domination victory, but um, <laughs> we've been doing so much domination on our live streams, I'm kind of okay with this. Uh, for now, though, we're going to wrap it up. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, show your support. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next episode. Later, everyone.